Since our interaction with the aliens began, we have come into possession of technology beyond our wildest dream. named Aurora exists at Area 51, which makes regular trips into space. It is a one-stage ship called a TAV, or trans-atmospheric vehicle. And it can take off from the ground using a seven-mile runway, go into high orbit, return on its own power and land on the same runway. We currently have and fly atomic-powered alien craft at Area S4 in Nevada. Our pilots have made interplanetary voyages in this craft and have been to the moon, Mars, and other planets aboard these craft. There's a group of pilots at the base who wear a patch, which has a little alien peeking over the bottom. It has, I think, three or four letters at the top. I forget what they are, but John Lear knows what they are. There is a picture of Saturn and a picture of Mars in the photograph, and in the background there are seven stars which are strangely shaped just like the stars in the Pleiades group. What that means, I don't know. We have been lied to about the true nature of the moon, the planets Mars and Venus, and the real state of technology that we possess today at this very moment. There are areas in the moon where plant life grows and even changes color with the seasons. And this seasonal effect is because the moon does not, as claimed, always present the exact same side to the earth or the sun. There is an area that wobbles in and out of darkness on a seasonal basis, and it is near this area that the plant life grows. The moon does have a few man-made lakes and ponds upon its surface, and clouds have been observed and filmed in its atmosphere. <laughs> 